Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome, man. Welcome to Beyond Classic Rock. Uh, today, got a complimentary quad coming your way, man. And uh, this complimentary quad, funny enough, it's featuring the music of Blackberry Smoke. Yes, the previous reaction was Blackberry Smoke. <laughs> uh, Jerry's uh, recommendation today, it's Jeff's recommendation. So, we're going to start with a good one, followed by You Hear Georgia, followed by Southern Child, and finally, Waiting for the Thunder. It's funny like this, it happens this way sometimes, where, um, you know, sometimes artists are requested and it just happens to fall that way, it's back to back. Just uh, about a month or a half ago, uh, same thing happened with ELP. So yeah, man, here we go, Blackberry Smoke. Uh, a lot of people are digging these guys because they are the uh, a great throwback to the 70s classic rock style, the southern rock classic rock format, and they seem to bring a lot of that great classic rock formula uh, to the 2000s. So uh, they are, I believe, for that reason, among others, one of the big reasons why they're so uh, already embraced and endeared. So with that said, man, Let's hit this up, starting with a good one. Blackberry smoke, good one. Let's get it. Gargling with 
whiskey, why not? <laughs> Fun video. 2009, Bama Jam Records. All right. Blackberry Smoke, good one. Good song, good band. Really excellent, um, how would I say? Southern rock platform. I really dig their sound, man. And they've got their own style. It's very chill, laid back, but they really hit those points. Like I said, to me, I'm thinking of that perfect mix between Almond Brothers and Leonard Skinner. Maybe a touch more towards Leonard Skinner, but all the same, you get shades of it there. You know what I'm saying? Fantastic band, man. They tell a good story. They uh, visually, with the videos, they show life on the road, their typical day in a way. And uh, I really dig everything about these guys so far, the little I know about them. But yeah, man. Uh, oh, yeah. Speaking of, damn. I was just so anxious to get into this shit that I didn't even read Jeff's opening uh, hello and comment. Damn, man. Sorry, Jeff. Let me go back to that right now. Uh, Jeff says, Wayne, this is one of my favorite bands, Blackberry Smoke. When you look for a newer band that is bringing genuine Southern rock music, man, this is it. It's like they time warp from 74 to, two, to the 2000s just to bring us all back on course. Although they have been playing together since 2000, I wasn't aware of them until 2012, and they put out their album, The Whipper Pool. Since then, they have just continued to grow and improve in their craft. Their studio music is incredible. However, when they are live, they blow your socks off. They restore my faith that good music in this style is still being produced. Absolutely, man. You're so dead on that. Uh, Jeff, I hear you with that. You know, there's some artists out there. The unfortunate thing is that you really got to keep an eye and an ear out for them, which, uh, whereas back in the days of the Renaissance period, they were just all over the place, saturated, inundated. You old cats, you, your asses, you were spoiled big time. Yeah, you know, so you got to keep an eye out for them. You know, there's the J.J. Gray and Mofros, the Daryl Hanses, all of these really, really cool artists out there. You got to go seeking. It's all good though, it's worth it when you find some great gems like this. Adding an interesting tidbit here, in Southern Child, the guy playing the harmonica is none other than Jimmy Hall, Wet Willie. He has aged a bit since the 70s, but damn, ain't we all. Jimmy Hall, that's the lead singer, is it? Lead singer that sounds like Mick Jagger, you know? Uh, I, think, I think that's who you're talking about. Yeah, man, brother sounds just like Mick Jagger, but dare I say, even though Mick Jagger is my favorite frontman of all time, I think Jimmy Hall is a better singer than Mick Jagger. Don't slay me. Don't hate the player. Hate the game. I'm just being honest with you. All right. So, uh, let's do this, man. First, I forgot to close my damn window and I hear a lot of noise outside. So let me break and do that. And when I come back, let's start to read a little bit about uh, the band. End of song. Give me a quick sec. You're going to hear a little bit of thunder and booming and all of that sort of nonsense outside. The um, guys, they're changing out all of the uh, garbage bins. I live in a huge condo complex. There's like one, two, three. There's like six condos facing each other. And then there's this big central area. And that's where they switch out all the garbage bins. So it sounds like thunder. You know, and I'm no, I'm not going to get it all in my editing process. So just so you know. All right, man, I moved from, uh, I had a, um, a triplex and I moved from there because the neighbors on each side were loud as hell. So you trade off one loud ass neighbor for another, uh, similar situation, not similar, but different, still annoying at times. Anyway, that's my Wayne's world woes. So, Blackberry Smoke. Blackberry Smoke is an American band from Atlanta, Georgia. The lineup consists of Charlie Starr, lead vocals and guitar, Richard Turner, bass and vocals, Britt Turner, drums, Paul Jackson, guitar and vocals, Brandon Still, keyboards. In 2020, they added touring personnel Benji Shanks, guitar, and Preston Holcomb, percussion. They have released seven studio albums, two live albums, and five extended plays. 
Good one. Good one appears on Little Piece of Dixie. And uh, not a tremendous amount of uh, actual song information, but there's a decent sized album review here by All Music's William Ruhlman. William says, quote, On their sophomore full-length CD, Little Piece of Dixie, the five members of Blackberry Smoke, singer, okay, he's just going down the list of the uh, players, Star has a strong, twangy voice, and he and Jackson keep their heavy riffs coming in country rock songs, extolling the virtues of a southern, blue-collar man blowing off steam by drinking, driving around, and maybe enjoying a little female companionship. Typical of the material is Bottom of This, in which a man gets home from work and asks to be allowed to at least have one beer before he has to engage domestic problems or talk politics. <laughs> Although the band is much closer to rock than outlaw country, the album has a clear Nashville leaning, produced by Dan Huff and Justin Nybank, and featuring some Formula Music City writing. At the end, Blackberry Smoke try for an anthem with Freedom Song, another paying to hitting the road in the pickup truck and putting a cowboy boot to the gas pedal in search of escape from a working man's troubles. But when Starr declares his desire to sing along to my Freedom Song on the radio as the guitarists play a familiar twin lead part, it seems likely that the song he really has in mind is Skinner's Freebird, not something by his own band. Okay, very interesting. Yeah, man, uh, like I said, these guys really um, uh, a great throwback, reminiscent of the sound of, I'm um, calling that amalgamation sound uh, of uh, the Almonds and Leonard Skinner, and a little bit of everything else, too. You know, that Southern flavor is just fantastic. The Southern comfort, as I call it. I was exploring in my mind for the longest time why it is that I like Southern rock so much, man. And... Um, I think it's just a combination of things. The stories being told, the relatability and the image of the um, person and the personas and what they're going through in their day to day. And that feeling that I get of being out on the open road, that element of freedom, I guess that's a big thing for me. And being out on the open road, the carefree highway, Southern Rock does that for me. And also adding another nostalgic rub, uh, I recently lost a dear friend uh, old military buddy, uh, and um, every time I listen to Southern Rock, I think of him, you know, love you Jack, Jack from Jacksonville. So, let's hit up our next track, man, you hear Georgia. Alright, and this is the official music video, Blackberry Smoke, you hear Georgia. Let's get it. Oops. Gotta plug it in.
those ladies are twins. Sweet sound. Good harmony. Nice backup vocals. The ladies are on point. Got their presence in there. Excellent, man. You know, all of those great elements of Southern rock that makes it so appealing, so endearing, it's in there. And these guys really, really hit all of those marks, man. Fantastic. You hear Georgia. Hmm. Yeah, and uh, again, not a tremendous amount of uh, song information here. It's more album information. And this review is from All Music Again, this time from uh, Stephen Thomas Erlwine. You hear Georgia. You hear Georgia when I open my mouth, sings Barry Smoke, leader Charlie Starr. Sorry, Blackberry Smoke Leader, Charlie Starr, on the title track of the band's seventh album. Starr isn't wrong. Ever since their first indie records back in the 2000s, Blackberry Smoke has been steeped in the traditions of Southern rock, occasionally recalling Georgian heavyweight The Allman Brothers Band, but more frequently bringing to their, bringing the mind the greasy, bringing to mind the greasy, flinty style of Leonard Skinner. Both bands loom over you hear Georgia, but Blackberry Smoke manages to find a few new wrinkles such as the little feet funk that keeps Hey Delilah simmering. Right on. <coughs> a little bit of little feet too, man. It's all good. Still, the group spends most of you hear Georgia sticking to their tried and true boogie, punctuating the rockers with room ballads like Lonesome for a Living and the wistful backyard picking of Old Enough to Know. It's nothing unexpected, but it's all effective, from the sturdy song constructions to performances that know when to lean into the muscle and when to let things swing. Excellent. Good album review. Good, uh, good write-up there. Short and sweet. Uh, all music. Shout out to you, man. All right, y'all. Let's check out our next track. Waiting for the Thunder. Uh, sorry, is that the next track? No, the next track is Southern Child, sorry. So. Blackberry Smoke, Southern Child, and this is live from Capricorn Sound Studios. Let's get it. Southern child, Southern child 
time I hear Lordy, I think of James Cone. You know what the hell I'm talking about? Music, excellent video. Southern Child. Jimmy Hall looks good. He looks happy being in the studio, making music, doing what he does best. I wonder if he uh, if he's missing singing much, uh, or if he is uh, still able to sing. Uh, you know, when you get older, so many different things plagues you and hampers your ability. I wonder if that might be the case. Let me know. Give me an update on uh, Jimmy Hall, uh, where he's at these days, man. All right. So, great stuff. Southern Child. Now, with um, 
some of these tunes, you know, there's not a lot of um, song information, album information, the odd times. So when that happens, what I like to do is I like to basically go straight back to the YouTube link and just kind of read some of the uh, comments in the comment section. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Find out what um, uh, the fans uh, are are saying and what they think. So let's read a few. Logan Simon says, This is exactly the type of tribute Little Richard would love. No better way to pay respect than to rock out on one of his tunes. And a reply says, All the respect for the amazing Little Richard, Brother Logan. <laughs> right on. Wow, I'm 70 and I've just discovered BBS. You cannot beat great musicians playing great music. And he got six replies and 55 thumbs up to that, man. Yeah, uh, I'll skip through the replies, go to the next one. This is Magic Music. Without fail, the best band around today. 133 thumbs up. Um, yeah, and uh, all of the replies are saying absolutely. I agree 110%, Brother Rocker. In these dark times, we need our spirit lifting. BBS just done it again. Hallelujah. 232 thumbs up and 18 replies. Blackberry Smoke is one of the greatest rock and roll southern bands of America. They're true Americans, and this is what America is all about. God bless them. I wish them all the luck in the world. John Frank. Whoever gave this a thumbs down, you can suck it. <laughs> this is great stuff. Yeah, what's wrong with you anyway? Giving this shit a thumbs down. Man, you should be horsewhipped, let me tell you. Alright. BBS convinced me that real music made by real musicians is still happening. Absolutely. This is pretty much almost what Jeff said. The talent and the love of making music that these guys radiate is an encouragement that there is still something genuine and real in this stupid plastic fake world we live in. Thanks, y'all, for being a shining beacon in these dark days. What this dude is saying, uh, Von Zoom Tunes, well, maybe it's a lady. What this person is saying is that all of the fake-ass music that has no heart, no soul, no grip, um, modern music, basically. You remember that rant that I had a couple of weeks ago, why is modern music so awful? This person is pretty much echoing the same sentiments. That's how decent guys show their respect. Thank you, BBS. Black Bettys and Jimmy Hall from Germany. All right. Love the Black Bettys. Brandon Solo, Benji's guitar, and Charlie Sound. Thank you, Blackberry Smoke. And yes, come in France. Or come to France. Quotations. Punctuations. And exclamations. Okay. BBS, one of the greatest bands ever. Can't wait to see you back on the road. I do hope you take the Bettys with you. They do add some smoothness to already amazing music. Yes, they do. Those ladies are magic, man. First, you start stomping your feet when you realize you're in the kitchen dancing with a broom. Cheers from Brazil, and thank you all for the masterpiece. Now, that was mighty fine. Yes, sir, mighty fine. That deserves multiple replays. I've seen a dozen BBS gigs, and they always play this as an intro. Uh, never knew what this song was. Now it's all come together. The pinnacle. Great job, boys. Jimmy Hall, the harp of the South. Just killing it on harmonica, y'all. 57 thumbs up and 7 um, uh, replies. Yeah. Okay. He so rocks still to this day. Yeah. Lots and lots of thumbs up. Hell yeah, great slide. And Paul Jackson killing it. Best band out there. Alright, let me read one more. They are just so damn they are just so damn filthy. Always. When you cover a legend, you do it right. Man, they did it right. Rest in peace to one of the true OGs. Right on. And a reply says. I thought they did a great job doing this song. It's sad that he's gone. He turned out to be a true believer in God. You should go and listen to his last message on YouTube. Rest in peace, Little Richard. Awesome, man. A tribute to a legend by a couple of upcoming legends, if they are not even at legendary status already. 
they got a little ways to go, but they're definitely on the road. And the only thing that's just going to throw them off of that path is, I don't know, another outbreak of the damn bug, another, um, uh, I don't know, or they implode, they self-implode and they just go off the rails or do something really stupid. But no, man, these guys, their fate is sealed towards legendary status. So, with that said, let's take a look at our final track, man. And um, that is Waiting for the Thunder. And this is uh, from BBC Two. Waiting for the Thunder. Let's get it. Tune, great sound 
excellent musicianship. Yeah, man, they definitely are on point when they're live. Great in the studio, just like you said, Jeff, but live, yo, that definitely is their element. Excellent. Great band. Really, really great creative um, uh, energy that they've got in there, not only in their storytelling, but the way they organize things, you know, the organ being in the right place doing that solo and then the guitar following it, man, it kind of reminds me of the formula used by uh, Deep Purple. You know, it's either the guitar first and then the organ solo after or vice versa. I just really, really remember loving that exchange between Richie and John back in the day. And I'm seeing it here, especially with the organ first and then the guitar afterwards. Fantastic solos, man. Awesome. Great song, great tune. All right. Waiting for the Thunder appears on Like an Arrow. It's the fifth studio album by American rock band Blackberry Smoke. The album was self-produced by the band and it was released October 14, 2016. Background. According to Charlie Starr, they had not intended to make an album when the band began practicing a few songs he had written when they had a month off in January of 2016. As the songs came together quickly, they decided to go to the quarry recording studio outside their hometown of Atlanta to record their fifth album. However, they were not sure who they wanted as producer for the album, but had a clear idea what they wanted to do with the songs, so they chose to produce the album themselves. The drummer, Britt Turner, also designed the album artwork. The last song on the album, Free on the Wing featured a duet with Greg Allman, whom they regarded as an inspiration for the band. Awesome. The first track of the album, Waiting for the Thunder, was released as the lead single from the album. Reception The album received a Metacritic rating of 76 based on 6 reviews, indicating generally favorable reviews. The album debuted at number 12 on Billboard 200, number 3 on Top Rock Albums, and, as well, number 1 on both the Top Country Albums and Americana Folk Albums chart, selling 18,000 copies in its first uh, week of sales. It, it sold a further 4,200 copies in its second week. The album has sold 48,000 copies as of August 2017. The album also debuted at number 8 on the UK Albums Chart, as well as number 1 on the UK Independent Albums Chart, Americana Albums Chart, and Rock and Metal Albums Chart. So many damn charts, man. It's unbelievable. Holy cow. Needless to say, they've done good, both the singles and the album. So, man, that concludes our look at uh, Blackberry Smoke for a second time in a row. Hey, why not, man? They're that damn good. And it seems like a lot of people are starting to uh, discover them and starting to chime uh, the same tune that, yeah, you know, there are really, really excellent bands out there that still have that classic rock flavor to them. And they uh, really do the times very, very proud in our present 2000s. So, hey, you know, this is a really, really good example. And when you hear people saying stuff like, yo, man, uh, you know, the music back then was so good. We just got nothing but shit today. You can say, yeah, there are some exceptions. And Blackberry Smoke is one of them. You can say that. All right, y'all. Thanks for joining me, man. Uh, let me just check out my notes. Yeah, man. So, Hayoto, Hayoto, your reaction is next, man. I, I know it's a gent. Uh, Jack, Sasha, Chris, I got a couple of new patrons and a few PayPal submissions. So, busy week ahead for me, man, but it's all good. This was a great uh, quad. Uh, Jeff, thank you very much. I appreciate it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. I enjoyed the hell out of this, man. But the Southern Rock thing, you uh, like I said, it's got lots of great, great associations for me. And uh, it the association factor just keep building and building, especially with great bands like this. So, uh, fantastic quad. All right, you guys, you have a good one. Uh, next time you see me, uh, yeah, you'll see me tomorrow. And it'll be uh, Hayoto's, I believe it's a quad. Take care until then. Peace.